Here's what's hot on screen. The world's most unlikely kung fu master returns in the hilarious butt-kicking animated action comedy Kung Fu Panda 4, featuring the voices of Jack Black and Aquafina. It is time to take the next step on your journey. I'm not going to be the dragon warrior anymore. You will advance to spiritual leader of the Valley of Peace. Inner peace, dinner please. Dinner with peas in a sesame soy glaze. This is not working at all. Of course, this movie came out in the year of the dragon. Poe is a dragon warrior. Yes. Were these things that you were thinking about when creating the film? I think that was a happy accident. I think we just decided to line up perfectly with the year of the dragon. <laughs> Who knew? The dragon warrior is gonna be mad when he finds out you took his stick. I am the dragon warrior. Nothing about you says dragon or warrior. Aquafina and I are year of the dragon. Let's, re let's go. Yes. I love being a dragon. I love being. I love being a dragon. I love showing it off because everyone's like, oh, what are you, a rat? We stand for like prosperity and wealth. That's right. Oh, Empowered. Dude. No question. That's the coolest of all the signs. Hell yeah. yeah. Funny because I'm the dragon warrior. You're talented and brave, and that shows in this franchise. You're returning to the character of Poe. Tell me about returning to him and also being with this character, living with him for 16 years. It's been a blessing. I have to say, I feel so lucky, and thank you for saying I'm talented and brave. Uh -huh. No one has ever said that I'm brave. Some people think I'm talented, and I appreciate. <laughs> it's been an incredible ride. It's been the greatest journey of my career. Very clever, Fox. <laughs> you know something. Poe is called upon to retire. Yeah. It's not as exciting, but he does cross paths with Jen. She's a new character to the franchise. How would you describe her? She definitely has a, a klepto problem, uh, but, but I think she does so because she has a uh, set of circumstances <sighs> in her life. She's an orphan like Poe, but it's interesting because her worldview is one of, of distrust. And I think Poe's kind of innocence like really helps her change her perspective and it leads to, uh, I think, a really uh, like fun friendship. Yeah. What is it you're holding? A cookie? Ah! You were chosen to become something more than you already are. <sighs> for fans of the entire franchise and for people who are in the theater right now sitting down to see this movie, what are they going to experience with the film and what are they gonna love most about Kung Fu Panda 4? What comes to mind first is the humor. There's tons of really great laughs. Oh, man. I might have been laughing the hardest at the premiere audience. I was he, screaming. He was. He was. I was screaming. I was letting some, them Some know. of them in his own lines, wow. too. Yeah, yeah. Maybe some of my own stuff. There was I, one. There was one. I think they're going to have fun, and it's going to be loads of action. But at the same time, I think we have some really cool themes. Themes for everyone. This one's specifically about change. Poe's got to go through a big change. Change doesn't always have to be a bad thing. Why do you think I always change the menu at the restaurant? It's time to let go of the dragon warrior and move on to the spiritual leader. And it's that embracing change. It's an important lesson of this movie, and it, it feels like also an important lesson in my life, too. You finally met your match, Chameleon. We're not so different, you and I. Skadoosh. Stand back. I'm gonna kick my butt. Made in Hollywood. Hey guys, thanks for checking out this video. We want to know, what would you have asked? Let us know in the comments below. And if you liked this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And as always, for more videos like this, hit the MIH TV logo right here. And for the next awesome video, click right there.